My name is Kaiohe. I work hard at a certain company. My job is definitely fulfilling and all of my co-workers are hardworking as well. But that's within my department. There are a lot of people that work in this company and that means I'm gonna stumble into people that I don't get along with. Oh, Kyohei, you haven't submitted this paperwork. Huh? It's due today. What are you going to do? Hurry up. No, I submitted it the day before yesterday. That's not true. Hurry up. This is one of the people that I don't get along with. It's Miss Sayuri from the department next door. After she found out about me, she's clearly picking fights with me. Just like you saw with the documents, she's always nitpicking. If I really didn't submit the papers, then I'd be more apologetic. But I know I submitted the papers, but she nags at me like some annoying elementary school student. Okay, then. Let's go to your department right now. I know it's there. It's not there. It's definitely your mistake. Sayuri, what's going on? Kiyomi, listen to this. Great, the other one. This is the other one that I don't get along with. This is Kiyomi, Sayuri's best friend. Sayuri doesn't like me, so she's always pretty annoying towards me, too. Are you serious, Kyohei? You're a lost cause, huh? Right? That's what I'm saying. Okay, I don't care if I'm lost or found. Let's go check your department. After this whole bickering debacle, we went to check her department. Lo and behold, it was there, like I said. Great, it's here. Someone, Kyohei, don't be so weird. Make it more clear when you're submitted it. Seriously, you're giving us such a headache. Uh-huh. This sort of thing happens often. Mr. Kyohei, you dealing with those two again? Yeah. Again? They're the ones I didn't check enough. Sorry for ya. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. It's all right. They said that they treat you like that because you look like her ex, right? Yeah, but according to the people who've actually seen the photos, you barely look like him. Maybe you have to say, boys? That's it? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it affects my work that much. If it did, I'd actually have to do something about it, but... That happens, I'll help you out, man. Me too. Thanks, guys. However, it would turn out that that situation would come sooner than I thought. One day, I was heading to the cafeteria during lunch break when Sayuri started walking towards me with a grin on her face. Hey, look at this. And she shoved her phone in my face. The phone said, This person is stupid, so just go along with what she says. Huh? I was confused by what was on the screen, and she just kept grinning. Jump out of a window. She said that out loud, dead serious, like she had just won the World Cup. I had no idea what was going on, but I read what was on the screen out loud. This person is so stupid, so just go along with what she says. Miss Sayuri, what is this? She heard me read her screen aloud, and... Huh? She didn't seem like she was messing around. She seemed like she really didn't know what was going on. Sayuri looked at her phone clearly nervous. What the hell is this? She exclaimed. No, I'm the one that's confused here. What the hell is this? Wait, Miss Sayuri? Sayuri chucked her phone in my direction and started throwing things around her as well. Myself and a few other employees calmed her down and she was taken away to the back by several of her bosses. What the hell was that about? I lost all my time when I was supposed to have lunch and couldn't really eat much. Oh man, they sold out of today's limited meals. The limited meals were also all sold out. After my lunch break was over, I went back to my department. A little while after, I was taken by the boss who took Sayori. I was thinking that I didn't want to see her, but she was all calm because she was surrounded by our superiors. She was actually bawling her eyes out. According to my boss, she thought that she was using a hypnosis app on me. Popular in China and Japan. They'll listen to anything you say, also the app suggested. You just turn the app on and show your screen to them. However, make sure you don't hypnotize yourself. Great app, really. However, the message just shows up, embarrassing the person. However, she showed this to Kiyomi and... Go buy me a drink. Kiyomi decided to just go with it. She was apparently believing in it, so she tried to get me to jump out of a window. I figured since it's a hypnosis app, it wouldn't be my fault if you died. Or so her story went. Is she stupid? Not to believe it, she apparently put in about $5,000 into this app. She was crying this much because she just figured out that she was scammed. I play games too, but I've never put that much money into this. Why does she have this app at all? All the bosses had a look of pity as well. The office is on the fourth floor. If the hypnosis worked, I'd be... I was thinking about it, but I had no real proof of the interaction. And all that remained was the $5,000 that was gone in the joke app. Sayuri was too stupid. I mean, pitiful that her boss chewed her out. I hope she wisens up from this. 
Sayuri was bawling, so she came to me to apologize. Wait, no, she never did. Actually, Kayomi said. If you had just gone along with everything, this whole thing wouldn't have happened. Something going way too far. What? Are you saying you wanted me to kill myself? That's not what I said. You could at least walk towards a window or something. <laughs> then I didn't have to hear my boss chew me out like that. This is so stupid. You're seriously such a square. What? She wasn't there, but apparently Sayuri's boss actually chewed up Kiyomi as well for spurring the whole thing on in the first place. I didn't do anything wrong. If I get a bad evaluation because of you, I'm totally going to sue you. After this whole thing, Sayuri and Kiyomi stopped getting along. They used to mess with me at first, but now they mess with each other like some elementary schoolers. That's probably an insult to elementary schoolers. My niece is better suited to live in society. Sayuri got too mad and shoved Kiyomi right off the stairs at the train station. Kiyomi hit her head hard and was injured. Sayuri was arrested on the spot, so... I'm sure a lot of people saw since it was at the train station. Crazy. If the police call, let me handle it. If you receive the call, just give me the phone. Why is that? Well, it's Sayuri. So I'm sure I should say something like, you spurred her on or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's actually true. However, there was never a call from the police. Kiyomi left the hospital and came back to work, but rumor of her wrongdoings had long spread throughout the offices. She seemed like things were way too uncomfortable and slowly disappeared from the offices. That whole stupid app was the reason that this all happened, but I'm sure Sayuri and Kiyomi both would have done something that crossed the line. It was pretty surprising, but since they've left the offices, my life has never been better. You all be careful about hypnosis apps too. <laughs> Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button! Bye!